Nan Loves Food. I am Nan, here today with a Croctober recipe. So normally I am not the biggest fan of Crock-Pots. Uh, I work a nine to five, and so generally if I'm using a Crock-Pot, that means that either it's Sunday and I'm home all day, or I'm having some horribly overcooked food because it just doesn't really work when I'm in the office to cook for four hours or whatever. Um, but Today I'm working from home. You caught me on my lunch break. And so together we're gonna make this smokehouse bourbon steak. Yum. In the crock pot for Crocktober. So I was walking through Target, which is a very dangerous place to walk through. <laughs> Especially if you're a foodie like me, they always have great sauces and stuff that you can't find anywhere else. So I had never seen this before. Excited to give it a try. Uh, the instructions are very simple. We're going to rub the roast with the spice pack and place them into the slow cooker. Okay, I can handle that. Uh, my kind of my kind of easy weeknight meal. So one of the things we talk about on this channel is ACT or active cooking time. So for me on a weeknight, my priority is not how long a meal takes to cook. It's how long a meal takes for me to make. So that's that's ACT. So this is going to be a really really low active cooking time meal because I'm going to use a couple of cheats. So we're using the slow cooker, cheat number one, right? That'll be good right off the bat, get the meat cooked without me having to stand over anything. Um, we are also going to use our family size hot logic. So if you're not familiar with hot logics, they are one of the greatest kitchen tools in my opinion ever. Uh, they just heat nice and low and slow, just kind of like a crock pot does except they're flat. <laughs> so that just makes it easier for certain things. Um, and it also allows me to put multiple containers in, which you'll see here soon. I grabbed um, some of these pre-made mashed potatoes from Costco. These are absolutely fantastic. Um, before I tried this brand, I was kind of like mm, on the pre-made mashed potatoes. And now I am 100% sold. Um, also, we are a two family household. So uh, there's absolutely no way we're gonna eat two 32 ounce trays of mashed potatoes before these would go bad. So I will pop one of these in the freezer once I open it here. But highly recommend these from Costco if you can get your hands on them. We're also taking another little cheat from the grocery store with some frozen broccoli. Um, my husband is a very picky eater and broccoli is one of the things that he will always reliably eat. So this, thrown in the hot logic with a little bit of Lowry season salt, we're gonna have the easiest sides that ever exist. Within this package, there are two things that came with it. This is a sauce and this is a rub. So to start, we're gonna rub this on our meat. Um, the instructions say, rub it on the meat, add some beef stock. I'm actually gonna use some red wine because I don't have any beef stock on hand, but I do have red wine on hand. We're gonna cook on low for six to eight hours. Um, we'll remove the liquid and shred the meat. So I am using my brand new Instant Pot gem which is a slow cooker with a searing function so i am just going to go ahead and sear the meat because i can and who doesn't want a little extra flavor on their meat i'm using stew meat for this but you could totally use like a pot roast or something So this is my family size hot logic. Um, if you're not familiar with hot logics, it's basically just a giant lunch box with a heating plate on the bottom, which I use my mini all the time to reheat my lunches, especially when I'm working and don't want to stop. Uh, this perfectly fits two six cup Pyrex dishes. So we're just going to put the mashed potatoes in one and the broccoli in the other. And we've got it plugged into the wall and that will just get nice and cook through um, during the time that we are cooking our meat. Uh, if you are interested in getting one of these, uh, this is an American made company. They are made up in Michigan and I absolutely love their product and what they are all about. So um, I am, I do have a, a coupon code for you if you want to get one of these. Highly recommend, they're awesome for like Thanksgiving or family get togethers or whatever. Uh, highly recommend you get one or two or three. I have three of these, one family size and two minis. Really, really highly recommend you get one of these both for easy weeknights and for get togethers. They're awesome. We are searing off the meat here with this spice rub on it. 
get any good and brown. Looks delicious. And this is the Instant Pot Gem. As you can see, I just got it on saute. And when we go to slow cook on low, we'll just hit that button there. Couldn't be easier than that. The broccoli is a little freezer burnt, but it'll be fine. We'll add a little Lowry's on top. So this is October and these don't actually expire until November 29th. So uh, these do last a good long time. We won't use all of this in today's meal. Um, a lot of Hot Logic enthusiasts will tell you that you can use this in the Hot Logic. I just get a little wiggly about plastic and heating. So follow your own convictions there. While I promise you that does not look too delicious right now, come dinner time, it will be fantastic. So now I'm just going to add these glass, um, this glass Pyrex lid, one to each side. Uh, these are silicone and glass, so uh, again, no wiggliness about heating with glass for me. If you have the same sort of thoughts around plastic and heating, this is a great solution. All right, so now that we've got some good color on this beef, I'm just gonna pour in half a cup of red wine, which will hopefully add a little deglaze to the bottom of that pan, as well as give some really good flavor. Uh, we are not fancy around here. I'm using a wine cube red blend. I had never had this before. Also picked this up at Target while I was there. And it is delicious. I have to say, um, you know, you never know with box wine, but this one's, this one's pretty decent quality. I, I would recommend it. We are going to throw the slow cooker on low. Probably cancel. Slow cooker on low. We'll set it for six hours and see how she does. All right, so it has been almost exactly six hours. Um, I believe we have eight minutes left, if I'm reading that dial correctly. Now we are just going to follow the instructions on the package. Um, it says to, it says to reserve half a cup of the liquid that's in there. I'm gonna see how much is in there. It actually said to do this with roast, not with stew meat, but stew meat sounded better to me, AKA less work. Know that there's much more than a half a cup in there. I think we're probably gonna let that ride. Now we are just going to take our cooking sauce and add that to the pot. So we're supposed to stir that in and then cook until heated through. It actually recommends you serve it over rice noodles, but we've got the mashed potatoes hot and the Hot Logic ready to go. All right, so I just took the lid off the Hot Logic and we have our mashed potatoes. They look absolutely wonderful. The broccoli got a little bit overdone, but I think it'll be totally fine. So I'm just going to make up a plate here and I think I will spread my mashed potatoes out so I can get some of that delicious gravy all over them. So there is the final product. It looks absolutely delicious. Let's get that served up. All right, so dinner is ready. That took about maybe 15 minutes of active cooking time, maybe probably a little less than that. So it was just throwing the broccoli in the Hot Logic, putting the steak in the Instant Pot slow cooker, and throwing the mashed potatoes in the Hot Logic as well. So reminder, if you want a coupon code for the Hot Logic, you go to hotlogic.com, use code AN10, A-N-N-E 10, and that'll get you um, either $10 or a percentage off your purchase of an Instant Pot. It's well worth the investment, truly. They're not even that expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite here with the, got some of the sauce and the steak on the mashed potato. Mm. The sauce is really well balanced. There's a nice vinegary element to it. Definitely rich and savory. Um, you can't actually taste the wine that I added, which is kind of odd. Um, but yeah, really good. It really tastes like a, a Sunday dinner that I spent hours and hours making 
but really less than 15 minutes of active cooking time. Highly recommend this. I would definitely recommend this Stubbs brand um, Smokehouse Bourbon Cooking Sauce. Happy Cracktober, everybody. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you're not already, subscribe. We like to talk about quick and easy weeknight meals around here. So if that's your jam, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much.